Today I will be going over higher dimensions and um, it's explain I'll explain it in a very simple fashion. So um, as you can see, uh, let's pretend this is a table. Um, or oh, we have a table and those shapes right there are life forms in this infinite table 2D universe. The table surface is the 2D is our 2D universe. Now, let's say we have um, paper or comic books or something. Um, now, we want to, um, what's the word? I, let's just say we want to put them onto the table. Well, we have two ways of doing this. The first method is simply putting them all over the table. And at this method, it will eventually cover the entire table um, in terms of surface area. The entire 2D universe is covered, um, taken up, occupied. But, as we know, we have a special dimension. Us 3Ds have a special dimension that 2D beings can't comprehend or enter on their own. This is the dimension of height. Now observe. Whilst, all, whilst there is zero length or width left on this table, Height is still an infinitely unoccupied dimension by these two-dimensional objects. Now, from the looks of it, huh, we've appeared to take up all, we've appeared to take up a space in the second dimension, but, but, there is much more space in the third dimension because we have considered stacking the objects these papers, rather than covering the whole table with it, which takes up the surface area, is inefficient for us as human beings and as three-dimensional beings, and just takes up time. So, whilst it appears as if there is only one being in this 2D universe, or one object, I should say, in actuality, if we were to, um, uh, remove the height aspect or remove our objects from this um, third dimension of height, we end up back with an infinitely occupied length and width, but still have the infinite dimension of height. Um, here's where it gets interesting. Four dimensional beings should operate on a similar manner. Now, an example of a fourth dimensional object would be a tesseract, as I can show you. It is a four dimensional analog of a cube. Um, it, four dim so it's basically a cube in the fourth dimension. It, it, that's the best way we could compare it. It would be like square, um, it would be like a um, 2D being saying a cube, which is an analog for a square in the third dimension. You know what I mean? So hypothetically, 4D beings have a fourth dimension, which they occupy and interact with and exist in. But, there's a part of them that would touch our 3D universe. And, um, so whilst it appears like they've taken up a finite space in our 3D universe, they are taking up a much larger quantity in their other universe. Also remembering that, um, since we are 3D, we can see past any object in this 2D universe. We can see how much um, length and width that the objects in the 2D universe occupy. Let's pretend that um, there was a wall. 
So we would not only be able to see this line or, or wall or rectangle that's splitting this universe, we would be able to move it and change it and whatnot because we are in a higher dimension. Now, here's where it gets interesting and slightly theoretical. Um, so I'm not exactly a huge Doctor Who fan, but some of my friends and family are. And as many people who have seen just a few episodes of it know, The inside is much bigger than the outside. Now, here's a possible explanation for that. The reason that the outside is bigger or smaller than the inside is because it is a 4D object. Um, and once you... Oh, here, let me put it this way. Let's say your finger is touching the surface of a table. Um, that green circle is your finger. Now, if someone were to, a 2D being were to quote unquote cut this circle, um, they would be affecting only an, a portion of you. But once they cut this circle, they open a portal into you. So, um, when you get cut, um, um, imagine it was by a 2D object. Um, this 2D object, if it were to go inside that wound, is now going into a 3D world. I.e. a higher dimension. Because we are made of higher dimensional stuff to them. So, in actuality, whilst, you, whilst the TARDIS itself and the door is 3D, what if opening that door creates a sort of um, tear or opening or reve removing a veil into a higher spatial dimension where there are a bunch of 3D objects in this 4D space? Um, for example, uh, your blood cells. A, a tr let's say a triangle being where to enter. Um, it would see the blood cells in your body um, in the sphere, like um, plasma, like um, it would see that stuff as 2D from one point, but also 3D too. So its mind, whilst it would be making it look 2D maybe, it's in actuality 3D sort of thing. It's very complicated to explain it like that. That may not be the best analogy. But, uh, yeah, that's the one I'm, I've am i got. Uh, it's not really too complicated. If you have questions, ask below. Um, I'm going to explain dimensional power scaling soon. But suffice to say, um, um, we're also going to go into name fallacies and just logical um, contradictions and whatnot and just stuff. Uh, pops up in a debate that goes against your argument and whatnot. Uh, have a great day.